Dusty, Dusty, say hello to the vlog. Say hello to the vlog, Dusty. Ooh, joo, joo, joo. Ooh, joo, joo. Oh, cute, cute, so cute. This is one of my favorite sneakers of all time. This is the Nike React Infinity Run. Two. I love the first version so much that I beat it up to a pulp. This is the second generation and it is amazing. If you guys haven't seen my review of this, my unboxing, I will link it down below. However, today's video is not about this shoe. However, it is very related because apparently the sneaker that I have over here in this box is a step up. It's the evolution. The lessons learned from this sneaker, they apply to this shoe and we will be unboxing it and I am super excited because again, if it's better than this, if it's an upgrade from this, I am all for it. Guys, this is my unboxing of the Nike Zoom X Invincible Run Flyknit. Let's go. As you guys can see, it comes in your typical Nike orange box with the swoosh over here. Swoosh. <laughs> then you have the details. I did go size 13 on this one. I'm usually a size 12, 12.5. But when it comes to running or basketball shoes, I usually go a half size or a full size up. Primarily because I have flat and wide feet. Okay, if you have narrow feet, you'll probably get away with, I don't know, doing a, a true to size. But anyway, if you pop the box open, you have a Nike Run app thing over here. And then, ba-bam, guys, this is it. This is the shoe. Let's take a closer look. That is one thick. Mmm. <laughs> look, look at that midsole over here. So apparently, well, first and foremost, I can see the similarity in the design elements, especially with the upper. So let me just get uh, the Nike React Infinity Run 2. You can tell a lot from the swoosh, from the design of the upper. Uh, it, it, it looks a lot, you know, very similar. However, there are key differences. So for example, this one uses React for the midsole, while this one uses a full Zoom X foam over here. That's the entire midsole is made from Zoom X material, which is just mind blowing. And that's nice to see with this shoe. There's no carbon plate. That's the usual setup that you see with the Zoom X to provide a little bit more stability or, you know, for it to be a little bit more of a faster running shoe. This sneaker, just like the Nike React Infinity Run 2, was designed specifically for long running as well as minimizing injuries for athletes. So for example, if you want a fast running shoe, you can go for the Vaporfly. And if you want like a more leisurely, relaxed, a long run, then you can go with this one. The great thing about that is that number one, it's great for beginners who want to get into running and number two, it makes for a fantastic athleisure everyday shoe. Now, how does it feel on feet? Well, to give you guys an idea, it is mushy AF. <laughs> It is softer definitely compared to the React material that you can find on the Nike React Infinity Run 2. And I'll do a comparison by the way of both sneakers in a future video. It is softer. It's even softer than the Ultra Boost 21. However, you still get that energy response. It's not as pronounced in my opinion as other shoes because they're a little bit firmer. But there's definitely that bounce. There's definitely that mushy feeling. There's definitely that, you know, you're like hopping on clouds kind of sensation when it comes to this shoe. In terms of stability though, I feel that I get more support with the Nike React react infinity run i don't know if that's because of my flat and wide feet uh there are instances when i am walking in this and it becomes too soft to the point that i become imbalanced that's something that i don't get with uh this shoe or even uh the previous generation of this or the or the pegasus toro however having said that it is not a deal breaker it is not like super bad to the point that i wouldn't consider buying this pair from what i've read also apparently it has a very durable midsole thanks to this rubber outsole by the way this is obviously not a running review but i will We'll link down below to a couple of running youtubers that i follow that did an amazing excellent performance early review of this shoe check that out links down below now apart from the outsole and the midsole you have to take a look at the upper this is where some youtubers especially running youtubers were a bit torn some of them didn't like it some of them kind of preferred it i think from uh from a leisurely runner perspective it works from an athleisure perspective it works but if you really want like you know a very lightweight shoe then you're better off with the lighter execution of flying it versus this one because this one has is a little bit more robust it has thicker panels and the and the padding around uh, the ankle is really thick i mean wow it is pillowy thick this is actually already available on the nike philippines website a little over eight or nine thousand pesos so it is pricey 
it is not an affordable running shoe. At the current price point, it's kind of hard to justify unless you are a runner who will really abuse the sneaker thoroughly for your daily runs. If you're just going to buy it for the looks, then you're better off buying other sneakers. However, however, let me just add a quick point. Uh, there is that, you know, there is that almost guaranteed situation wherein Nike will put their sneakers on sale. And if this goes on sale, like 10%, 20%, 30%, uh, 50% that is a massive steal because I guarantee you guys especially if you're looking for a casual everyday shoe you will thoroughly enjoy this sneaker however to all my wide flat feet people fam out there just like me just a word of caution uh, since it is all foam and since there is no like carbon plate in the midsection specifically talking to the flat footed people over here again there is the tendency for imbalance especially if you are walking already hundreds if not thousands of steps on this shoe so i just want to put it out there it is super nice it is awesome it is a great shoe but it wasn't built primarily for people who have flat feet just putting it out there wide feet people with normal arcs i think this will work primarily because you have that really wide uh, toe box over here as you guys can see so it, this will give you the support and the room that you need but for the flat-footed people out there whew, sakit, sorry guys <laughs> i mean you, you can probably make it work but it won't be ideal so what do you guys think of this sneaker? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I will be doing the comparison to the Daiki React Infinity Run 2 and we'll also do a comparison maybe with the Pegasus uh, 37 and I'll also do a comparison with the Ultra Boost 21 because that I think makes for a great video and that will be coming this weekend. So just give me a few days to wear both to get a better feel of both sneakers and again, the comparisons will be coming in the next few days. Now before we wrap up this episode, I just want to do a quick update on this sneaker. So if you missed the vlog, I link, it, I link it down below. This is the Jordan 1 Mid uh, All-Star Weekend Carbon Fiber. I just want to say that this is so fun to wear. Initially, I just said that you know the, the shiny panda look got to me uh, and the carbon fiber aesthetic, it's obviously not like real carbon fiber or if it is, then apologies, uh, was something that I could get behind. But man, I wore this yesterday. It was really fun to wear and I got a couple of compliments from, from people in the office. I actually had to go to the office uh, with this shoe. Maybe because it was the shiny build <laughs> combined with the iconic Jordan 1 silhouette and when they would take a closer look the carbon fiber really made it look a little bit more kick-ass again the carbon fiber aesthetic so yeah uh, this one I think I can I will be abusing thoroughly I was thinking actually putting it in the steel cabinet or selling it later down the road since we already did the video but it looks like this is one of the rare shoes that I buy that I will I actually will keep and that's saying a lot especially since uh, Jordan ones are not super comfortable for me, but man, uh, I just I just really like the shoe. Also, if you guys missed my latest unboxing, the video that came prior to this one of the Air Force One Comme des Garçons Mid in White, check it out. The link to the video can be found down below. It's a really fun Air Force One. It's a really crazy Air Force One, and you should check the video out because I will be doing more Comme des Garçons Nike collaboration content. Uh, maybe if not this week, next week. And lastly, let me just plug that we are still doing the raffle for the neighborhood face mask. So I bought this from Commonwealth Philippines. Check them out. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the, the video where we do the mechanics, I'll link it down below. But it's the usual mechanics. You have to subscribe to the channel. You have to uh, give this video a thumbs up. You have to watch the link down below. And then you have to comment on that video so you can be part of the raffle pool. Again, we're giving away a neighborhood face mask and last but not the least let me just plug my other channels guys check out my dedicated watch channel i'll link it down below quick wristwatch check of the day wearing the g-shock mud master really kick-ass dope sneaker sneaker watch and lastly check out the youtube channel of my wife kaasenso with gerard and mitch it's linked down below they talk about business entrepreneurship and life in general guys this has been carlo thank you for watching i appreciate all of you thank you for spending your time with me peace god bless what's up boom